What if, what if there was a way of making a decision and you virtually guaranteed that every single time you made the decision, that the decision would be the right one. Now, this is a powerful concept. This um, first was introduced to me many years ago when I was in a business mastermind. And uh, one of the coaches, a gentleman by the name of Tony V. Hey, Tony, if you're watching, thank you for the uh, thank you for this. Uh, message that's helped create this video and I was in a business mastermind and I was watching kind of in on zoom for this particular meeting because we were during covid so there was uh, restrictions on people being able to attend in person but I had the opportunity to kind of present a message I think to the room virtually and uh, Tony V kind of kind of came in hard right came in hard and this particular coach kind of gave me some really tough love because I was in indecision about what I should do. Should I take the blue pill? Should I take the red pill? It was kind of should I do X or should I do Y, right? And he introduced me to something which was a concept, which was a which was an idea, which was actually scientific. It wasn't an idea at all. It was something scientific. And it was that of what we call heart coherence. Now, Joe Dispenza talks a lot about heart coherence and the science has shown that when people are in indecision, they are in a heart rate variability that is basically has their brain and their heart in misalignment. So what that means is if you imagine, right, that your your brain and your heart, imagine they're like the CEO and the CFO of a business and they're in a boardroom and they've got a decision to make and they're both thinking the opposite thing. The, the CEO thinks one thing and the CFO thinks the other. Now, the problem you've got is if, if, if both those people have equal say, or even if they don't have equal say, the bottom line is they both are thinking two different things. And if you think about an organisation and people are thinking different things, or if you think about a marriage, a couple, or any business relationship, any relationship, if you have two people thinking different things, then often what happens when people are thinking different things is there will be conflict, right? There will be a, that difference of opinion creates a problem. Now, the challenge with, um, with this, to kind of bring back to my original point around heart coherence, is when this problem is happening inside of us. Now, if we have a conflict with another person, we can walk away. But if we have an inner conflict, if we have a misalignment of decision-making process inside of us, then we have a real problem. And many years ago, this kind of indecision was a regular, regular prevalent pattern for me. And I was completely unaware, completely oblivious that this was even a thing. I just thought it was indecision. That's what it was. I thought that my problem was unique, that my indecision was unique, that my unable to make a decision A or B, take the blue pill or the red pill was unique. <laughs> Until Tony V made me realize that it was not unique. Now in neuro-linguistic programming, they talk about parts integration. And I'd studied NLP at this particular time, but there was something about the science. You know, I love a bit of science. And when, uh, when, when this coach, when Tony made me realize about this thing called heart coherence, it changed everything for me, you know? And since I've learned this concept, which I'm gonna elaborate on in a minute, um, whenever I've had indecision, because I still have indecision, but because I now am aware of this concept, I'm able to do this thing that I'm about to share with you and I'm able to find out what is the right answer. It's like finding out the cheat code in the video game, right? It's, it's like it gives you the answer to what you're meant to do. And that's the beautiful thing about it because it doesn't matter how many coaches you have, it doesn't matter how many mentors you have, nobody knows what's right for you as well as you know for you. And this concept, which I'm going to introduce you to, is really, really profound. It changed my life. And if you've got any indecision in your life, if you apply this process, 
it will change your life as well. I guarantee it. Not because I say so, not because Tony V says so, but because the science proves so. Anyway, so what happens when the brain and the heart are out of alignment is we have a almost like an if you were to look at ourselves on a heart rate monitor you would probably see that the heart rate the way it is it would kind of be kind of jagged right what is effectively what that what that reading is saying is that you're in an incoherent state and tony robbins talks about state a lot and he talks about the importance of being being in state right and what what this um heart monitor reading is showing is that we're not in state doesn't matter how which which way we spin it if a heart rate monitor was on you and it would show that you kind of your heart rate's a bit jagged and a bit kind of pointy then you're in an you're in an incoherent state now i'm kind of the heart math institute will will this will talk about this way more eloquently than i ever will i'm kind of butchering this a little bit forgive me if you're watching from the heart math institute but I'm kind of, to cut a very, very long story short, when you're in this kind of heart rate variability, where um, HRV, as you may have heard of, and it's kind of jagged, it means that you're out of state. It means that there's a high probability that your brain and your heart are not aligned. And if your brain and your heart are not aligned, what happens on a logical level is there's indecision. Um... It's a bit like having Bluetooth headphones and you're trying to connect them to your phone, but the Bluetooth is switched off. Doesn't matter which way, how many times you press the button, turn them on, turn them off, turn them on, turn them off. The Bluetooth isn't responding. They're not going to connect to the phone. So what you've got to know is if you want to have a high probability that you're going to make a decision that is right for you, you have to get yourself into a coherent state. Now, if you were to show that on a graph, like I just described, the heart rate variability will be more kind of like a, like a wave, like a beautiful water wave. Now, how do you get into a coherent state? The way you get into a coherent state, one of the ways is through breath work. And one of the most coherent types of breath pattern is like a deep breath in for six, hold and then a deep breath out for six and if you do that for five to ten minutes the longer the better you'll find that your heart rate variability starts to find its way into this kind of swooping motion now when you're in this kind of swooping motion what you're doing is you're effectively turning on your inner bluetooth and you're getting the brain and the heart aligned then the reason why you need to get the brain and the heart aligned to make a decision is because when it comes to making decisions, the brain is fundamentally not on your side. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is the brain is hardwired to keep you alive, nothing more. So the brain doesn't know the difference between, should I go for that dream job? Should I approach that girl or guy at the bar? Doesn't know the difference between those things and you're in the zoo and a lion has just escaped from its paddock right or whatever they call it right and obviously you need to like run <laughs> right the brain doesn't know the difference so the brain's why people are scared of public speaking because the brain says if you do public speaking you're gonna die because the brain obviously the brain is neurologically wired to keep you safe and we all have these kind of deep-seated fears that we're you know we're not love we're not enough goes back to childhood and because of that, if we rely purely on our brain, our, the logic part of us to make a decision, we will invariably overthink, procrastinate and be in indecision. The reason we're in indecision is because the, the gut or the heart over here is going, hello, hello. Right? It's trying to tell us something else. Indecision is fundamentally the brain saying one thing and the heart saying another. That is what indecision is. So you have to get the brain and the heart to be on the same wavelength, like you have to get that CEO and that CFO to be on the same wavelength for the business to operate and thrive and grow, right? So how do you do it? The breathing I just talked about, in for six, out for six. Now, if you want to go another level, the HeartMath Institute have a device, which I have, 
totally be recommended, where it will show you kind of red, amber and green zones. And if you wear this device while doing this breathing, you will find that if you stay with it long enough, you will enter the green zone. And when you enter the green zone, you are in the best coherent state. When you're in the red zone, you're incoherent. When you're in the amber, you're kind of coherent. Blue, sorry, blue. And then when you get into the green zone, then you're in a coherent state. So here's what I now do, ever since this profound insight shared many years ago from Mr. Tony V. What I now do is, anytime I have indecision, like, should I do this or shouldn't I do that? I get a little, a little kind of light bulb goes off in my mind, which says, well, sitting here to doing this isn't going to help. Let's do a heart coherence meditation on it. Let's do some in for six, out for six. And I'll literally have a notepad or a note in my phone ready to make a decision. And then what I'll do is I'll do my in for six, out for six for about eight or nine minutes. And as soon as I finish, and often I'll do it with my little device so I know I'm in the green zone, but you don't have to do that. You'll just get a feel and inner knowing. As soon as I'm in the green or as soon as I feel that I've done this long enough, I will literally write down or type out what is the answer? Like what is the what is the the aligned the two on the same page? What are they saying that I should do? And it's really profound because if I look through my phone at any time I've done a uh, made a decision like this using this method, every time the decision that's been made has been right. Now, here's the, here's the trick with this, though. Here's the kind of the caveat to this, is that have I always followed the advice? No. Because sometimes I fall out of the coherent state. So the point is that I, the recommendation is, which is what I do as much as possible, is when you are in the coherent state, you don't just find the answer, you take action on the answer. Because it is when you take action immediately in the right state that you move forward into whatever it is that it's saying. And some people may ask the question, well, does that guarantee that if you follow that, that it's going to be right? No. No, it doesn't. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But here's what it does guarantee. It guarantees that you won't have regret. Because if there's one thing I've learned is that you know, I believe my gut is always right. Your intuition is never wrong. So if you make a decision and it turns out to be wrong, but you followed your gut, you'll know that you'll get massive growth from that. But the great thing is the gut always knows when you didn't do something that you should have done. And the gut always knows when you did something that you shouldn't have done. I can't remember which way around I've said that now. Either way, <laughs> either way the gut knows when you... You didn't do something that you should have done or you did something that you shouldn't have done. The gut always knows. So the key is take action in state and you have a high probability that you're going to get the result that you want. Hey, look, I hope you found this video useful. Would love to know your thoughts on this um, rather than actually don't do that. Rather than love to know your thoughts on it, I would love to hear you with something you have indecision around do this process and then send me a message or comment and let me know what this does for you. Let me know a decision. I would really love to hear for accountability. I would really love to hear how you get on. That's it from me. See you on the next video. Namaste. Take care.